Question 1. What are primitives in VRML? Answer. Primitives are basic geometric shapes that are built into the language. The shapes available are sphere, box, cylinder and cone. You should abuse these nodes because they are defined in a small number of lines, keeping the size of your document at a minimum. Question 2. Do I have to compile my VRML code? Answer. No, unlike Java, VRML doesn't need to be compiled at all. That's why it requires a plugin for viewing it. Question 3. Could advances in this area trigger a significant reduction in transportation use? Answer. If you look at humanity's carbon footprint, about 20% of it is accounted for by transportation. So, hypothetically, we should be able to implement communication technologies that reduce the need for at least some of that movement. Yet that has obviously not happened as a result of the existence of telephony or email, or websites, or based on the current technology level of video conferencing. So the question we have to ask is, could it happen if there were a more satisfying level of communication? I believe the answer is yes. So reducing our global carbon footprint could come down to how good an algorithm is at sensing the corner of somebody's eye. Speaking very roughly, I think that top quality services along these lines could probably reduce humanity's global carbon footprint by a tenth in 10 to 15 years. Question 4. What are scene graphs in VRML? Answer. Scene graphs are a hierarchical representation of all the objects, visual and or audio, that composes your virtual world. The representation is made through node statements that have fields and values to be determined, similar to HTML tags and their parameters. Question 5. How can we insert comments in VRML? Answer. Just put the hash character before your comment line, just like, for JavaScript. Remember that if your comment has two lines, you must put the hash before each line. Question 6. Explain me are there many differences between VRML 1.0 and 2.0? Answer. Yes, but no worries, the great majority of VRML 2.0 plugins will read your 1.0 code. Just don't forget to specify in the header which version you used. Question 7. What is virtual reality and how does it affect today's technology? Answer. Virtual reality is not a new medium. It's been around for decades. What's new are the viewing devices, in which you're able to view it. For decades, I had been writing, trying to marry words with pictures. With VR it's spherical video and the story is a stream that never ends. With VR you have the ability to take them inside the picture you tried to create through writing. Question 8. Tell me will immersion in virtual worlds eventually demand a connection between the human brain and computers? Answer. If, like me, you see people as sacred centers of experience that should be surrounded by a kind of moat of respect, you might find it a little creepy to find yourself in a world in which software can be connected directly to the brain. This could create extraordinary artifacts of power where some people might control a transpersonal phenomenon, while others would have no power at all. So I think it's worth being conservative about the core of personhood. Question 9. What is VRML? Answer. VRML stands for Virtual Reality Modeling Language. It is an ISO, IEC language developed by a combined effort of a group of companies and 3D designers and programmers for describing 3D scenes on the web. Fortunately from the beginning the effort converged to make it standard. No such luck with HTML until W3C was created. The documents have asterisk WRL extensions that can be viewed by a browser with an appropriate plugin or helper application. Question 10. Explain me when do the large game makers, like Electronic Arts, Activision, and Ubisoft start jumping into VR? Answer. A lot of them are investing in VR right now. I can't say anything specifically, but there are multi-billion dollar game development studios doing serious work in VR. But they're not the people who are here showing off demos in the hallway. They're the ones working internally to make sure it's something that's polished and that they can show and not get criticized for it because they're under a lot more scrutiny. Question 11. How to specify the coordinates in VRML? Answer. Tri-dimensional shapes and routes are described using three coordinates X, Y and Z. Cutting down simple the X axis is left to right, the Y axis down to up and the Z axis is back to front. The Z axis requires a further abstraction if you want to comprehend it in a theoretical basis, but talking practical it's just the stretching of the image. The unit for describing the distances in your virtual world is relative, but almost every 
everyone uses the meter unit of course if you're making a model of a molecule you're not going to use meters but rather angstrom. Question 12. What are some of the main challenge you're hearing from Android developers about interacting VR into their apps? Answer. Some of the challenges as a storyteller is the limitations of the equipment. If you truly want HD 360 video you have to shoot with 16 different cameras and stitch the videos together. Sometimes these cameras will get off sync and make the process a little difficult. There are a lot of VR jams that are held, which are coming up with solutions to the challenges VR is facing. Question 13. What ways might the virtual world enhance our personhood? Answer. There is a grand process that has been present throughout the history of humanity that is called neoteny. This process refers to the carryover of the child phase of life into adulthood. If you look at human history, you find that as we have become more successful, childhood has become longer. The virtual world fits into this because it helps make dreams real. Children flip between the world as they imagine it and the world as it is. But by being able able to build a shared objective world that is as fluid as imagination they, and adults, can bring some of the qualities of imagination into a world that is shared with others. Question 14. What are nods in VRML? Answer. Nods are the basic blocks for creating your scene. Each kind of node has specific field, values and children's statements that are always inserted between, so never forget to close your nods. Question 15. Why should we use VRML? Answer. This language is gaining more and more acceptance as a technology for displaying 3D graphics because it's a simple and accessible way to create interactive worlds. Also an important feature is that VRML is encoded in UTF-8 format, similar to your web pages HTML encoded in ASCII, so you can make very detailed 3D scenes using very small files that can be downloaded quickly, which is one of the main concerns concerns when putting something on the internet. Question 16. What are the major trends driving the introduction of virtual reality systems? Answer. Moore's Law and Materials Science. On the Moore's Law side, pretty good levels of 3D rendering have become commoditized and are already miles ahead of what we could do not so many years ago for millions of dollars. Cheap, fast computing power is thus the muscle that's driving this today. Materials Science, on the other hand, is bringing us better chips, improved optics, sensors, actuators and displays. These things are driving our experiences in the virtual world and opening up great new possibilities. Question 17. What is Google Cardboard and how does it fit into the VR world? Answer. Google Cardboard is basically a cardboard box that allows you attach your cell phone to the box and experience VR. There are other virtual reality devices on the market, like the Samsung Gear VR. The Samsung Gear VR functions much like Google Cardboard. Your cell phone snaps into it and the VR app is automatically deployed. Another device is the Zeiss VR1, which uses the same VR apps as Google Cardboard board. Question 18. Where can I find the specification for VRML? Answer. We can find it at the VRML consortium site. Question 19. Is VRML case sensitive? Answer. Yes. The most common errors are from MIS typed case letters. Question 20. How do we get started with VRML? Answer. You can use any text editor to write your VRML code. There are also a great number of programs available in the web for different platforms, some for free and others pretty expensive. For viewing your work, as I said before, you'll need a browser with a plugin. There's quite a variety that you can choose from for different platforms. If you have some programming knowledge learning VRML will be piece of cake, if not it's still pretty easy.